There are reports that aliens have touched down outside of a small desert town in Arizona. Do you hear that? Aliens, guys. Aliens. And there they are. It looks like they're humping each other. They're not really moving very well. <laughs> oh man, how anticlimactic, huh? What are you doing, you noobs? You can't do that. We're aliens. We can do whatever we want. Why are you talking like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Look, why are you, why are you doing that? Come on. We got soldiers to defend the town. We got the alien mechs. And they're derping out. You better do something really cool with your lasers. Because right now you guys look like idiots. Oh, you... What? What? What is that? What on earth is that? Oh my god, now, you know what, see, look, we had alien tripods, we had, we, this, the stage was set for an otherwise pretty cool, I mean, what, it, what, what, what rank shape should we do? How about a 10? We're gonna do a 10, maybe they won't be on each other. Like, they just died so fast, it was, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous! We're gonna make it a hundred. A thousand dejillion. There we go, now they should be spread out, hopefully. We'll see. And it's a hundred versus a thousand modern soldiers. Now both these were added on the workshop, but the issue that we're having is it looks like this still pretty rough. How is it that people made these amazing looking things? Look, we've got look look how good. Look how good these soldiers look. And other than like the fact that there's a gun coming out of this guy's chest. Baron, I don't know what's going on. It's like aliens, but the aliens are guns. Oh my god, man. Well, th these guys look cool. That's the thing, man. We've got stuff that looks... We got... We have things that look cool. I don't even see the aliens. Maybe I spread them out so wide. They don't even exist. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. You're over here. Why not? Well, we we'll might as well start the battle and see... Yeah, someone's got to work on their animations, because... We've got freaking alien mech walkers here. And really, really unfortunately, you can't just glide even with your alien technology. It's clear that you're walkers. Now let's see what what happens. The music is epic, right? I just, I'm a little disappointed, guys. I'm a little disappointed. But after this mm, quote battle, I'm gonna show you the workshop, and we've got a couple of different units we can show off in the future. Here come the soldiers. Let's go ahead and uh, speed it up a bit. Normal, yeah, we about one there. Yep. All right, soldiers moving into position. However, the soldiers moving out. See, these guys have proper animations. Look, go, 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 the aliens are in town. The aliens are here. Now, they've all got M4s. None of them have grenade launchers or, oh God, the aliens. And then the aliens just start turning around and dying. I haven't even seen them shoot yet. Look, not, not a single soldier has perished in battle. This might be the most anticlimactic unit that I've ever seen in a video game. In a video game. Come on. We're going to unit customize. I'm going to go to... Where are they at? Unit name. Um, we should have... Man, come on. Nah. Still limited as to what I can do. Now these are the ones I've made. Load a select, I don't wanna load that guy. All right, and it doesn't look like you can modify. Yeah, wrecked man, wrecked. All right, so we can't even mod, we can't even soup one up. Well, here's the workshop mods. We've got goblin archers, we've got lizard terrorizers, some are super kitty. Can I get that? And then it's like, once it downloads, I think I've got a item will activate. It should be installed. It, this, they gotta work on this, man. It shouldn't be. Look at this guy, this guy looks silly. A samurai horse robot, let's see if they are in the workshop or if I do, in fact, have to restart. I do. I do have to restart. This is a kick in the nuts. This is a kick in the nuts. All right, guys, so I started a new battle. 
And this one, we're going to show off four of the new units. You can see the soldiers here. So we already know what they look like, but I'm going to... We're going to go ahead and start this battle. We're going to put cinematic on. These soldiers making those stupid sounds. Here's the alien tripods. They look pretty derpy. I'm hoping they actually fire so we see what they do. But then we've got... Super kitties! Look at these things. Some of them... What are you... Oh my god! <laughs> Why are they, like, posting up? Like, they got their chest puffed out. Like, what's up, Ace? Okay, we got the soldiers. And then over here, we've got the chicken or the horse robot guys with samurai swords. This is this is pretty derpy. Okay, what's going on over here? These guys are trying to hop over. Are they actually fighting? Oh, you know what? Whoever made these alien robots, you guys, you know what? Wouldn't you do a better job? Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, the kitties are throwing the guys everywhere. You know what's funny, man? Of all that battle simulators, I gotta say, it seems that although this one's been modded, I'm just kind of surprised. I'm still kind of surprised. These, these super kitties, I don't even see them getting wrecked that much. We're gonna, we're gonna speed it up a bit. And here's the stupid alien robots not doing their job. Alien robots been sighted. I mean, look how cool they look, though, if they actually did what they were supposed to do but they're just like I don't even know are they actually shooting lasers but you just can't see them the animation's just not there look at these soldiers man the super kitties are definitely kicking butt and taking names oh you know what we haven't seen oh god samurai horse robots dude super kitty okay here we go robots with samurai swords versus super kitties it seems to be kind of fair whoa all the soldiers are pretty much wiped out. And look at this, see? This is how you know attention to detail is... I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, guys. So we've got the super kitties. This is the semi-robot man, horse guy. <laughs> you can't... Oh, God. This is just silly. It, it depends. It's like... I'm definitely, I'm definitely thinking the super kitties are winning. However... The aliens, dude, look how cool the aliens look. See, visually they look great, but in practice, oh yeah. So we're going to have a clash of the titans. The, there's enough kitties, I think, here. The alien robots just kind of hang out, and I think they're shooting. We just can't see it, because you see how they stop off in the... Uh... Oh yeah. Alien robots. But if they had, if they spaced out and they walked properly... It would look so much cooler. Yeah, why, why, why do you look like you're mating? Hmm. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kind of disappointed. I was like, oh, mod support. And you know I love my mod support. And then you get into the game. And it's all... I mean, I, I think that it was just a random person who made the alien tripods. Oh, my God turn around they're all right there that guy just headbutted a building man he destroyed it so let's let's actually turn off cinematic mode and let's see there's one samurai horse robot remaining here wait you know what i'm gonna possess them right click to possess oh look i'm doing damage but you can't see it and i i can't even move my guy i don't even know oh i'm the one that's like yeah I don't know, man. I don't know about that. All right, so the the alien tripods, they just suck. They just suck. They look cool, but they're not good. All right, so then what we got to see is if Super Kitty here has what it takes to kill Chuck Norris. So we're going to clear everything. We're going to go down. We're going to get we're going to get Super Kitty. We're going to have a thousand Super Kitties. And we're going to have a thousand Samurai Horse guys, which are actually kind of cool. I do like those. They're probably my favorites. When you consider that the alien tripods do not work. I'm definitely not mad about it. Definitely not triggered by it. All right, so let's see. They're green and red. Let's put you guys next to each other. And we are going to get good old Chucky Chuck. Hero Chuck Norris. We are going to have one of them. And you know what? Let's just start this battle up, boys. Let's just start it up. See if Super Kitty can fight Chuck Norris. Alien tripod invasion thwarted 
by lack of attention to detail. All right, so where's good old Chucky Chuck? Come on, Chucky Chuck. Why are you staying stationary, man? All right, we're gonna... Oh my God, the kitties are flying everywhere. We're gonna speed this one up. Let's get it. Two times speed. He's got 2,000 things to wreck. Is Chuck Norris still the supreme form in the universe? So who ever came up with this? I gotta say, that's funny stuff. I like that. And the kitties, you need better animations because they're just kind of posted up looking at the sky. Even at two times speed, he's just kicking kitties everywhere. Chuck Norris kicks kitties has been confirmed. Do we get a hat? I mean, what? Okay, so now that they do have mod support for units, workshop units, and presumably maps. I still think that the game is limited by the number of animations that a unit has, and the physics are kind of fake. He kicks them and they fly, but, oh, that guy actually got a few hits in. A few of these guys are like, ha, stab me in the back, stab me in the back, and then he turns around and like, what are you guys doing? And then he just punches them to crap. Alright, so Baron's Brigade, Baron's Brigade. We got a couple battle simulators out. Tabs is coming out at the, is what, late summer, early fall? Seeing as it's how it's August, I mean, what? Somewhere between August and October, I would guess. Um, and did you see that Landfall announced a new game? And then other battle simulators, we got Beast Battle Simulator that just came out, and that is one of my favorites now because of the soccer mode. I love the soccer mode. I just like to see that fresh take on battle simulators where, look at this, where they've well, you know, it's not just a battle simulator. They've shown that they can do a little bit more, and more can come into the genre with the different game modes. Now, the only two other game modes they really introduced were Smash All the Boxes in a Number of Times, which is interesting but relatively basic. But then there's soccer, and the soccer mode is just absolutely brilliant. So, we've got Beast Battle Simulator, we've got Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and we've got Ultimate epic battle simulator or am i missing any other battle simulators you can count total war games kind of um that's definitely a possibility wow look at these guys just getting smacky smack but i mean i think we know chuck norris is gonna win this one i can't even speed it up faster than two times speed ladies and gentlemen what does ultimate epic battle simulator need to kind of you know get it back into the fray as a as a, a compelling battle simulator they've added mod support but I mean, it's more, it's more or less we're just watching Chuck Norris kick the crap out of 2,000 units. Actually, let's go ahead and... How many are remaining? Wait, how come it's not counting? Look at that. Mostly sunny with some sun. It's not even counting the horses. Let's actually... I'm a horse. Moving around is weird. Look at all the kitties. Oh, the kitties can actually get kicked and survive. I'm getting up in here. Piah! Come on, Chuck, fight me. 100 damage. 100 damage again, Chuck. How do you feel about that? What do you think, Chuck? Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm wrecked. Look at that. And there I sit. You know what? I know exactly what we got to do. Chuck, we're calling in the special weapons. Boom! And Chuck survives. We've got a few kitties left. The super kitties are actually decent at surviving nukes. But Chuck Norris wins again. Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. In a nutshell, Chuck Norris gonna kick your butt. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. If you do have some ideas for the next Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, let me know. I'm gonna check back in a couple days, maybe when there's a little bit better options in the mod support. I'm on the Steam Workshop, but I am I am impressed and I am thankful that, um, you know, they did do mod support. Um, I wonder, I mean, it's a one-man team, so I'm, I'm sure he's, like, overworked, man. Like, trying to do everything himself, but if it came earlier, I think that would have been cool. You know, if I'm going to be a little nitpicky, those alien walkers need to be done. And uh, I'm curious to see what else we can do in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. But ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.